Hi there, beautiful people. Just breathing in the sounds of the skylarks deep into my soul, filling myself up with that joyful, beautiful sound, one of the most exquisite sounds on earth to me, to my energy, something that is truly magical, magnificent. And um, the other thing that I particularly love about the skylarks is the dance, how they move up and down. And I feel that that's also something that we can learn from as the human species when we're doing our own healing and our own uh, clearing is movement. But the directions, taking the directions into higher heights, often when people heal a person, or at least when they were healing in the old 3D ways of healings, they concentrate on the person's physical body, but they forget to go beyond that and that the fields of the person, the being, are wide, high, and then also to go within. Maybe if you're healing someone else, you're not going to be going, you're not going to be going within, but to encourage them to go within and uh, meet themselves there and clear what needs clearing there. Today I'm sharing some light on the moments leading up to your transformations and your rebirthings because at the moment so many people are finding themselves in a, a space of time where they're just completely doing the opposite of what they've done before. They are finding themselves not that they don't have direction, but that there's, that the, the, the finding that's like, who am I and what am I doing? A lot of the old ways no longer make sense. And I, I mean, I've said this, it's in order to be a new divine human, I say a new, but we've always been divine humans, but to, to realize that part of truth of who we each are, we have to let go of uh, the old ways of what we were doing and being. And you can't meet, greet and align with new earth frequencies if you're still very much attached to 3D ways of being and living. So you do have this need, I say need, not need, to release parts of you that are keeping you very, very small. And I want to keep saying this in as many different ways as I can say this, because I really feel this is beneficial to helping people to let go of old clothes, old ways of living, old shells, old um, defenses because in order to align with new earth you have to be as pure as possible you have to be pure and purity comes from releasing all of those masks releasing the masks releasing the the routines that are also masks because they are a necessity that you've used in order to help you to control because you haven't been able to clear your traumas. A lot of very, very controlled people, you think they have it together, but they do it because they haven't been able to heal their, their, their traumas. And it's a way of them being able to control their lives. I speak from experience. When you're changing and when you realize that you want to be free and that you want to release all of those parts of you that are keeping you limited. You have to be brave and you have to try different, try new things. And sometimes it's uncomfortable. Sometimes it's uncomfortable when you leave your stuff lying around because when you've been used to just tidying it up straight away. But sometimes just doing that just helps you to create a different way of being. 
And I'm not saying that it's a good idea to be messy because I, I don't actually feel that way because I don't see that that is something that's necessarily upholding your energies. But it's good to help you to recreate who you are wishing to align with. Your highest self wash, wishes you to align with the highest version of you whilst you're here. And so if you can live from your highest self, then, then you're going to feel so good. You'll feel free, you'll feel boundless. Boundless. Is that a right word? Bountiful, that's the right word. You'll feel opulent. You'll feel magnificent. And isn't that well-being something that we should all be fe feeling? So I just want to encourage people that have yet to feel really that, that wonderment within themselves, just to look at where they can sort of just completely just let go and release and try things differently, do things differently, like <coughs> do your hair differently. If you, if you wear makeup, don't wear makeup. If you, you know, if you always eat at certain times, change the times, just, just change things around just so that you can create something wonderful out of it all. I mean the creative process isn't always tidy. Sometimes the most magical things come from a lot of woohoo. And this is what's happening right now. Divine humans rising, re-remembering their inner power and how they can live in harmony with all life because we are one. We are one. I wish you all joy and peace on your path. And remember, life is supposed to be joyful. Release, let go of all of the old clothes. And that, when I say that, that's a metaphor for the, the barriers, the defenses, the shells, who you pretending to be. And let your true self merge keep allowing that purity to keep coming, more and more purity coming out, more purity, more innocence, more purity, more innocence. <sighs> Joy. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Zaza. I love you all. Please like and subscribe if you so wish to do so. Thank you. And share. Please share. Thanks.